Why do all cloud tech jobs seem to ask for three to five years of experience? Can you still get these jobs even if you have zero technical experience? What are the exact steps you can follow to land that first cloud job? These are all the questions we're going to answer in today's episode. Hi, I'm Anna, and here at Cloud Career Mentor, we help aspiring tech professionals get well-paid jobs in the cloud industry through high-quality online courses and mentorship. If you've started applying for cloud tech jobs, you've probably noticed that a lot of these jobs ask for three to five years of experience, even for jobs that claim to be entry level. If you're a cloud beginner, it seems like a bit of a catch-22 situation where you can't get a job because all the entry level jobs ask for three to five years of experience, but you can't get any experience because you can't get a job in the first place. This can be really frustrating because you begin to doubt if you have any chance of breaking into the tech industry. But what if I told you that there was a simple process that you could follow that will help you to get that first job even if you have zero technical experience. Before we talk about that, it's really important that we understand exactly why employers ask for three to five years of experience in the first place. By understanding why, we'll be able to develop a strategy to overcome their concerns and worries so that they can see you as a viable candidate. The first reason employers ask for three to five years of experience is because as a cloud engineer, you'll be working on projects that have really high stakes. The decisions and actions you take as a cloud beginner has the potential to make or cost businesses thousands of dollars, if not hundreds of thousands. For example, I recently heard the story of a cloud engineer called George who was given a task to clean up some rows in a company's database. Except, rather than deleting a few rows, he ended up accidentally deleting the entire database. This database was really important to the company because it contained all of their products, as well as their customers' information and purchase history. Basically, by deleting this database, George could have cost the company hundreds of thousands of dollars and potentially bankrupted them. Luckily, there was a backup of this database, which meant that all the deleted data was able to be restored successfully. I hope you can begin to see how a cloud engineer who doesn't know what they're doing could really negatively impact a company and cause serious damage. This is why employers prefer engineers who are more experienced, as they are less likely to make these sort of mistakes than beginners are. The second reason why employers usually ask for three to five years of experience is because if you're a cloud engineer, you're not just working with the cloud, for example, AWS or Azure. You also need to understand other technologies like Linux, Bash, Python, and much more. In addition to these technologies, you also need to understand system design concepts like security, cost optimization, and backup and disaster recovery auto-scaling, and so much more. There's a lot more that goes into being a cloud professional than just knowing how to create some S3 buckets in AWS. And employers are always on the lookout for candidates who understand these more advanced concepts. Unfortunately, most cloud beginners don't deep dive into these concepts, which is why employers ask for three to five years of experience because they are more likely to find engineers who understand these technologies and concepts. The final reason why employers ask for three to five years of experience is because if they didn't, they would get thousands of unqualified candidates applying to these roles, which would make it really difficult for them to find the right candidates. By putting three to five years in the job description, they effectively discourage the unqualified candidates from applying so they can focus on attracting the best candidates. Now that we understand why employers put three to five years of experience in their job descriptions, you might be wondering how exactly you could get these jobs even if you have zero technical experience. I'm going to tell you exactly how you can do it in a second. But before I do that, I want you to download this free resource we created for you called The Three Simple Steps to Your First Cloud Job. It was created by us here at Cloud Career Mentor to give you a roadmap you can follow to break into the cloud industry as quickly and as easily as possible. Make sure you download it now. Link is in the description below. When we talked about the reasons employers put three to five years of experience, the three main reasons we identified were that one, the stakes are very high for employers and they want to hire someone who knows what they're doing. Two, cloud engineers need to understand a lot of different technologies and concepts and beginners generally don't deep dive into these topics. And three, employers want to weed out all the unqualified candidates as efficiently as possible. You might have started to notice that there is one underlying reasons why employers ask for three to five years of experience. And that reason 
is down to risk. Risk that you don't know what you're doing and might bankrupt the business. Risk that they will have to spend a lot of time training you and holding your hand, which will cost them time and money. And finally, risk that if they hire you in three months' time, they will have to let you go because you're just not qualified enough for the position which will of course mean a waste of time and money for the team. This means that if you really want to get an entry-level cloud job with zero technical experience, you need to do one thing, and that is to de-risk yourself. Here's what I mean. You need to upskill yourself to the point that employers don't feel like they're taking a massive risk hiring you. The more you can increase your technical skills, the less risky you become to employers the more likely they are to take a chance on you and give you that job offer. Now I know the next thing you might be asking is this. How exactly do you de-risk yourself? Well, the answer is really simple and you can do it in six steps. One, get comfortable navigating the Linux command line. Two, develop high quality cloud projects that utilize networking, security and scalability. Three, learn how to script infrastructure with Terraform. Four, create complex multi-environment CI-CD pipelines. Five, learn how to automate processes using Python. And six, learn how to communicate your experience effectively, both in your resume and in interviews. We've developed a simple test to know if you're the kind of candidate employers are looking to hire. Let's assume that you're in an interview and I'm the interviewer. If I ask you to tell me about a CI-CD project you've done, Would you be able to talk for five to 10 minutes about a project? Do you feel comfortable talking for five to 10 minutes about a Terraform or Python project you've done? If you can't do that, then I'm afraid you have a lot of work to do. Your ability to work on high quality projects and more importantly, talk about these projects in an interview setting will significantly improve your chances of getting hired even if you don't have three to five years of experience. How do I know this works? Because we've seen it be successful for multiple candidates from all over the world. In a minute, I'm gonna show an example of how a candidate was able to go from being a quality analyst to making a career switch and getting her first cloud job simply by de-risking herself and implementing some of the things I've spoken about today. But before I give you this example, I want to tell you about a program that will help you de-risk yourself and make you a more attractive candidate for employers. I know it can be challenging for you to find the right high quality projects that will help you stand out to recruiters. This is why we've created the Cloud Career Acceleration Program. This program has been designed to give you over 20 high quality projects to complete, spanning across a wide range of technologies that employers are looking for, like Linux, AWS, Bash, Terraform, CICD, Python, serverless, Docker, and so much more. This program has been designed to be really well-structured and easy to follow. Not only do you get the hands-on projects you're looking for, you also get access to a mentor that you can meet with regularly on a one-to-one basis so you get all the help and support you need to achieve your goal. Other benefits of the program include a resume writing module that will show you exactly how to write about the projects you've completed in an authentic way on your resume. Once you start getting interviews for cloud roles, you'll also get access to a senior solution architect that will conduct mock interviews with you to get you as prepared as possible so you can walk into your actual interview feeling confident and ready to impress the hiring managers. If you want to find out more details about this program, then simply head to cloudcareermentor.com to sign up now. We've had students from all over the world go through this program and secure jobs, so we feel confident that we can help you too. Earlier on, I mentioned that a student of our program was able to successfully transition from being a quality analyst to becoming a cloud engineer by de-risking herself and following the Cloud Career Acceleration Program. We asked her to share her story so you can learn exactly what she did to break into the cloud industry and follow in her footsteps. Watch this video we recorded with her so you can be inspired and motivated to achieve your goals. Make sure to watch it now. See you in the next video.